Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. I am Bronwyn Fees, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, and it is my honor to welcome each of you on this joyous occasion. We in the College of Human Ecology join family and friends in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of fall 2018. At this time, I invite you to stand or remain standing and join Danielle Winchester, Senior in Hospitality Management, and Rachel Gross, Master Student in Music, to sing the National Anthem. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the Wow, thank you, Danielle. Please be seated. As I introduce today's platform party, please hold your applause until all are introduced. On my right, your left, Dr. John Buckwalter, Dean. Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO, K State Alumni Association. Dr. Linda March, Commencement Speaker and Owner and Operator, Nutrition Services for Rural Communities. Dara Portier, Portnier, excuse me, Student Commencement Speaker and Degree Candidate in Communication Sciences and Disorders. Danielle Winchester, student vocalist and degree candidate in hospitality management. Dr. Michelle Toes, Associate Dean of Research, Professor, Family Studies and Human Services. On my left, your right, Dr. Barbara Anderson, Professor and Department Head, Apparel, Textiles and Interior Design. Dr. Sonia Luder, Professor and Interim School Director School of Family Studies and Human Services. Dr. Mark Hobb, Professor and Department Head, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dr. Michael Ottenbacher, Professor and Department Head, Hospitality Management. Dr. Craig Harms, Professor and Department Head, Kinesiology. Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean for Student Support, and Assistant Professor, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. You may be seated. Please welcome Dr. John Buckwalter, Dean of the College of Human Ecology, to recognize our student commencement speaker. Thank you, Bronwyn. Graduates, your families and your faculty are so very proud of your accomplishments. 
We expect that the future will hold great promise for each of you. Today, we celebrate your accomplishments at K-State. Dara Portner will represent the graduating class as the fall 2018 student commencement speaker. Dara, will you please join me at the podium? Dara will graduate with a bachelor's degree in communication sciences and disorders. Daughter of Kent and Tamara Portner of Kerwin, Dara has been an active member of the K-State community. She is an exemplary student in the Communication Sciences and Disorders program, maintaining a 4.0 GPA throughout her undergraduate career. She served as a volunteer research assistant for two years in the program, assisting with two different research projects. Dara is described by her advisor as being a truly outstanding student who is a model for others in her dedication to learning and her academic accomplishments. Outside of the classroom, she is a member of the Kansas State Speech-Language Hearing Association, the Kansas Speech-Language Hearing Association, the College of Human Ecology Student Council, Mortar Board Honor Society, Pi Kappa Phi Honor Society, and Kappa Omicron Nu Honor Society, where she holds the position of president. She's been busy. Following graduation, Dara will attend graduate school to continue her journey to becoming a speech-language pathologist. The College of Human Ecology is pleased to welcome Dara as she speaks on behalf of the graduating class. Congratulations. Thank you. Celebrations, farewells, new beginnings, and cake. Congratulations, class of 2018. We have finally made it to this monumental day. To some, today marks the closing of your academic career, or as others like to call it, entering the real world. To others, today serves as a stepping stone, moving you one step closer on your journey to obtaining an advanced degree. To others, you may be the first in your family to earn a college degree. However, despite all the different paths we took to get here today, we all would not be here without resilience. The American Psychological Association shares, developing resilience is a personal journey, and bouncing back with resilience is similar to taking a raft trip down a river. The writer explains further, on a river, you may encounter rapids, turns, slow water, and shallows. As in life, the challenges you experience affect you differently along the way. In traveling this river, your journey should be guided by a plan, a strategy that you consider likely to work for you. Perseverance and trusting in your ability to work your way around the boulders and other obstacles are important. You can gain courage and insight by successfully navigating your way through the white water. Trusted companions who accompany you on your journey can be especially helpful for dealing with rapids, upstream currents, and other, difficulty, other difficult stretches of the river. You can climb out and rest alongside the river, but to get to the end of your journey, you need to get back in the raft and continue. Many of us have encountered unexpected, stressful, and traumatic life events on our journey to becoming the individuals that we are today. As students at Kansas State University, we have shown resilience in numerous ways, such as when we navigated the snow knowing that class would not be canceled despite the blizzard-like conditions, circled the campus parking lots nine or ten times hoping that just one spot would open up because class was starting in five minutes, and feeling overwhelmed when professors kept piling on end of semester projects, papers, quizzes, and everyone's favorite, comprehensive finals. Nevertheless, we are here today to celebrate our accomplishments as a result of our passionate drive to succeed, regardless of what obstacles we've had to conquer along the way. As asserted by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, when we tackle obstacles, we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience that we did not know we had. And it is only when we are faced with failure do we realize that these resources were always there within us. So graduates, the next time you encounter a challenge, an unexpected situation, or lose sight of your dreams and goals, 
the resources you need to overcome these obstacles are within you. Class of 2018, despite the different paths we are traveling on and the unique challenges we will face on the journey towards our dreams and goals, my hope is that you allow yourself to take breaks along the way and keep in mind that to reach the end of your journey, you need to get back in the raft and continue on because you alone have the power to pick yourself up, channel hidden resources within you, and live resilient each and every day. Dr. Shauna Dorden, Assistant Dean, will now recognize students with academic honors. Thank you, Dara. It is now my pleasure to recognize students whose academic performance earned cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude honors. Twelve students have been awarded the designation cum laude these students have a cumulative K-State grade point average of 3.750 to 3.849. Nine students have been awarded the designation magna cum laude. These students have achieved a 3.850 to 3.949 K-State academic average. This year we have 15 students who have been awarded the designation summa cum laude, the highest academic honor conveyed by the university. These students have attained a 3.950 or higher cumulative K-State grade point average. Will all of these students who have earned academic honors please stand to be recognized? Please join me in recognizing them. You may be seated, students. Cap Omicron Nu is a national honor society dedicated to recognizing and encouraging excellence in scholarship, research, and leadership in human ecology. Cap Omicron Nu students and faculty are wearing burgundy and cream honor cords today. Eta Sigma Delta is an international honor society for students with an excellent academic record in hospitality and tourism industry. Eta Sigma Delta students are wearing cords today also. Please join me as we recognize these students for their outstanding accomplishments. At this time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce today's distinguished speaker, Dr. Linda March. Linda March is a registered dietitian who owns and operates nutrition services for rural communities, helping to care for patients in nursing homes, small hospitals, senior feeding programs and correctional facilities in the Texas Panhandle in eastern New Mexico. March is active in the nutrition community, serving as editor of the Renal Nutrition Forum and volunteering as a grant writing facilitator for nonprofit organizations in her area. Outside of nutrition, she is an active member of the Texas Scotty Dog Rescue Foundation Dr. March received her doctoral degree from K-State in Human Ecology with specialization in hotel, restaurant, and institutional management and dietetics. She received her Bachelor of Science degree from Texas Tech University and a Master of Science from Stephen F. Austin State University. Please welcome Dr. Linda March. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, you were born into a family. Chances are, you look like or resemble someone in your family. Maybe you have your mother's eyes, your dad's personality, or your great aunt Susan's toes. You grew up in the influences of your family. There were traditions like the holidays. There were extracurricular activities that you were guided in. You watched your family deal with problems, make decisions, and likely you carry their resemblance with you today. And at some point, you chose to come to Kansas State University, or K-State. That was a big decision. Who influenced that decision in addition to yourself? Was it a family member, a teacher, or coach? 
someone you looked up to. If they did influence you, there was something you wanted so you could become like them to get where you have decided to go in your life. Whether it was two, four, or more years ago, you arrived at K-State. You spent this time working on the education you need to give you the tools in life to get where you want to go. While you are here, you have become part of the K-State family. Families influence you for a lifetime. While your genetic family is by birth, your K-State family has been by choice. My charge to you this afternoon is to consider what does it mean to be a part of the K-State family? What does it mean to be a K-Stater? As a trained researcher by only the best here on campus, I went to a reputable source, Wikipedia. There was not a listing for K-Stater. The university website was a better resource listing the university mission statement or what has been planned for your becoming part of the family. Your family mission statement is as follows. You have been developed into a highly skilled and educated citizen expected to advance the well-being of Kansas, the nation, and the international community. You have been prepared to be informed, productive, and a responsible citizen who actively participates in advancing cultural, educational, economic, scientific, and socio-political undertakings. That's a big expectation of a K-Stater. You are prepared by your K-State family to change the world. Many people with no names or accomplishments have gone before you, including Herbert Diamond, the inventor of the snooze alarm. Erin Brockovich, environmental activist, whose story was featured in the movie starring Julia Roberts. Earl Woods, the father of golfer Tiger Woods, and one of the first African Americans to play on a college sports team and numerous other notable names in industry, science, entertainment, and sports. And today, you are on that list too. You have been pre to prepared to accomplish great things. You have had teachers that go above and beyond, that challenged you to learn and do. You have made friends you will know for a lifetime. You've had unique experiences that your peers at other universities will never know. Learning that Aggieville has more than a donut shop. Cheering the team while hearing the Wabash Cannonball over and over and over. Enjoying call ice, ice cream, one of my favorite. And walking by the cows or smelling them on the way to the parking lot. The you you brought to K-State has been transformed into a K-State family member, prepared for a bright future, to make a positive impression wherever you go. Your time at K-State is up, but your family membership is just beginning. You are charged here on out to show what this family means to you. When you pack your vehicles this evening, heading into the plans of a job, more school, or life on a tropical island, you are only leaving the physical presence of K-State. What you have received as a family member, you are to give away. What does that vision look like? I see someone who takes pride in communicating the education that you received. I see someone working and giving back to the community. Drew Barrymore, actress whose first role was in the movie E.T., she's about that big during E.T., said, whatever I've experienced in my life is part of my story, and I'm proud of that. But it's someone who wakes up early, works all day, believes in charitable work, is business-minded, diligent, accountable, and problem-solving. And she goes on to say, I'm so much about school, consistency, and tradition. Never forget the tradition. 
Dress your cat in purple on games days. Put a rock and a flag with a wild cat in front of your house. Bring your family back to visit. Place on your task list to start giving back to this place that has shaped your future. When the telephone calls you the first time, give them something, anything, your Starbucks money. And the next year when they call back, give them a little bit more. Honor those who gave scholarships, buildings, equipment for you to enjoy, cutting edge facilities, experiences, and professors by giving to future family members. And above all else, be generous in your passion for doing good and making this world a safer, happier place to be. There are many difficult problems we face together. Never doubt that you have the tools to start solving these issues as you are well prepared. Be your story. The world certainly needs you. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce Amy Button Rents, President and CEO for the K-State Alumni Association, who will bring greetings on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Marsh, and I have to say, we're very fortunate to have you as a graduate and a wonderful message uh, for these students to hear as they become graduates. I'm pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association representing over 280,000 graduates and friends who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the K-State Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit the university and all members of our Wildcat community. I would like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help you connect, stay connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sporting event or rubbing the nose of the bronze Wildcat statue at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure a Wildcat victory. As the keepers of tradition, we also hope you will have a chance to visit the Alumni Center to experience all the wonderful traditions that are kept there, including our newest addition, a stained glass mural designed by 2016 graduate Marcus Gilbert, which pays tribute to the beauty of our state and the K-State campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple, or wearing a K-State class ring or sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Human Ecology and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks number four among the Power Five athletic conferences and number one in the Big 12 for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. 
To the graduates of the class of 2018, your graduation is an important occasion. Your family members and friends, many of whom are with us here today, have helped you achieve the goal of earning a college degree. Would you take a moment with me and give them a round of applause for their efforts? In addition, will the faculty in the College of Human Ecology rise so we can thank and commend you also? And now, the moment we have gathered to celebrate. Will all the candidates for degrees from the College of Human Ecology please stand? By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of the degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective baccalaureate degrees you have earned in the College of Human Ecology at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations to all the members of the class of fall 2018. You may be seated now. At today's ceremony, I invite Provost Tabor, Assistant Dean Shauna Jordan, and Associate Dean Michelle Toews to join me in the presentation of diplomas. Barbara Anderson will present the degree candidates from the Department of Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design. Will the degree candidates for the Department of Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design please stand? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles. Heather Lynn Albers. Summa Cum Laude Honors Project, Emily Elizabeth Andrews. Cum Laude, Madison Lee McClellan. Shi Win Wei. Please con join me in congratulating our new graduates. Dr. Sonia Luter will present the degree candidates for the School of Family Studies and Human Services. Will the degree candidates from the School of Family Studies and Human Services please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Science, and Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning. Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders. Magna Cum Laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Christina Dawn Ashenfelter. Emmeline Joanne Bolander. Magna Cum Laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Brecken Annette Renfro. Summa Cum Laude, Abigail Nicole Bingman. Cum Laude, Nicole Danielle Greenstein. Bailey K. Harsh. Magna Cum Laude, Madison Renee Knox. Renee Therese Lafreniere. Alexandra Nicole Maynard. 
Summa cum laude, secondary in gerontology. Addison Lane McGill. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders in Family Studies and Human Services. Jaylene Marie Miller. <laughs> Summa cum laude, commencement speaker, Dara K. Portner. Cum laude, Marley Renee Rath. Ashton Marie Royer. Summa cum laude, Lauren Grace Studer. Secondary in gerontology, Haley Beth Thompson. Summa cum laude, secondary in gerontology, Elaine Marie Williams. Summa cum laude, Catherine Lynn Yero. Catherine's diploma will be presented by her mother, Linda Yero, instructor in the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Early childhood education, Lucette Casillas. Hannah Daniels. Kennedy Morgan Lynn. Jamie Puya Tao Zong. Family Studies and Human Services. Paige Alexis Altwig. <laughs> Kyle Freeman Barfield. Sarah Marie Brown. Virginia Catherine Cardello. Brittany Dennis Campbell. Caitlin Margaret Dunnigan. Magna Cum Laude, Suzanne Saylor Fiss. Mario Garcia III. Toriana E. Hardy. Dominique Lauren Humphreys. Aubrey Michelle Young. Addison Rianne Kingsbury. JC Combe. Summa cum laude, Kristen Lauren Kruger. Joel Bradley Larkins. Marissa Elizabeth Lord. Nathan Thomas Mignano. Megan Elizabeth Rose. Allison Marie Russell. Terrell Howard Smith. No, no. 
Allison Schaefer Thompson. Kaylin Christine Tilly. Secondary in Gerontology, Kiernan Brianna Vining. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Science, Riley Noel Karoff. Cum laude, Shannon Elise Keith. Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning, Zachary Wayne Polins. Cum laude, Landon Scott Warmond. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. <laughs> Dr. Mark Hobb will present the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition. Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Magna Cum Laude, Emily Elizabeth Kelly. Congratulations. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, Abigail Renee Boxberger. Magnum Cum Laude, Bachelor of Science Dietetics and Bachelor of Science Nutrition and Health, Sarah Elizabeth Hansen. Abby Ann Herkelman. Madison Victoria Hinman. Cum Laude, Jenny Lee Horn. Summa Cum Laude, Bachelor of Science Dietetics and Bachelor of Science Kinesiology, Julia Ashlyn Lambert. <laughs> Jennifer H. Raboon. Katie Lynn Schneider. Molly Catherine Ward. Kelsey Nicole Woodson. Okay. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health, Cum Laude, Marilyn Hope Ferre. Summa Cum Laude, Kelly Marie Mark. Clara G. DeBartolo. Shana May North. <laughs> Secondary Gerontology, Emily Ann Marie Waterworth. <laughs> Nutritional Sciences, Cum Laude, Gabrielle Riley Ciccarelli. Nicholas Jacob Desch. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. Dr. Michael Ottenbacher will present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management.
Will the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management please rise? Dean Buckwalder, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management and Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Regina Nadine Basse. Emily Faith Don. Sherling Su Ling Yi, Christina Ann Hoops, Haley Danielle Mertz, Brenna Christine Shields. Megan Lynn Webster. <laughs> Cum laude, Amber Nicole Wilhelm. <laughs> Danielle Joanne Winchester. Yun Tian. Please congratulate all the graduates. Dr. Craig Hart will present the candidates from kinesiology. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Secondary in Gerontology, Bailey Elizabeth Alexander. Nicholas W. Beach. Magna cum laude, Cassandra Maria Beatty. Congratulations. Summa cum laude, Brooke Nicole Bennett. Shadrick Bashirs. Magna cum laude, Tori Ann Bontrager. Tori's diploma will be presented by her mother, Cindy Bontrager, K-State Vice President for Administration and Finance. Summa cum laude, Allison Christine Bollinger. Jeremy Grayson Collier. Cum laude, Mackenzie Caitlin Getz. Secondary in Gerontology, Alexandra Peyton Herman. Summa cum laude, Aaron Leslie Holtmeyer. Ashlyn Paige Kleinbeck. Andrea Louise Kreisinger. Brady Kent Kurtz. Heidi Marie Larson. Caitlin Marie Miller. Mary Christina Morrissey. 
Benjamin Ray Mosley. Alyssa Marie Oborny. Cum laude, Jesse Brian Patterson. Keaton Don Reese. Christopher Allen Sanquist. Secondary in gerontology, Hannah Beth Strange. Haley Alexandra Suter. Taylor Nicole Sweet. Austin Hayes Waters. Zachary Allen Will. Please join me in congratulating all of our new graduates. Graduates, you came to Kansas State University from all corners of the world, and for a brief moment in time, your lives converged in the classrooms, laboratories, and studios in the College of Human Ecology. It has been for us a privilege to help you learn. From here, your lives will once again diverge as you pursue advanced degrees and careers, and as you follow your passions through as yet unknowable life's pursuits. As you start your new lives, I would like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Do not think of your newly minted degree as a ticket to a specific place, but rather as a passport that can take you to an unlimited number of destinations. Indeed, as privileged passport holders, you will have access to places that you cannot even imagine. Embrace the journey, but be generous with your time, talents, and resources. As college graduates, you are a privileged group. Take others with you on your fabulous journey. Invest yourself in the lives of others, your community, and your alma mater. The College of Human Ecology and Kansas State University are extremely proud of each of you. Please stay connected to your K-State family. We cannot wait to see where your journey takes you. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to the College of Human Ecology graduating class 2018. At this time, I'd like to invite you to stand and join Danielle Winchester and Rachel Gross in the singing of the alma mater for the first time as alumni. The words are printed on the page three of your program. At the end of the refrain, audience, please be seated for the recessional. Long, long may thy colors fly, boy. 
loyal to thee, thy children will spell the 